the limiter that is actually on our um, output. The limiter is um, also very flexible and extremely precise. First of uh, all, to have more of the effect, you just move up the input gain. This is why I'm reducing the level now. And you can go in and go up to clipping. You see it's doing some gain reduction, but it clips, as you can see here. And what is even more important, even if I control it up to the point that it's going to zero, my D to A converters on a cheap CD player, for example, might clip on the analog stage, so after the D to A converter. And for this, I have this reconstruction meter, which means it shows me how loud the level will be on the analog side. And I can put this auto compensation in there, meaning the level is getting reduced, so it's not overshooting at that point. There's a safe mode, auto gain, so I can really make sure that I'm not clipping my master. I'm going to 0.03 dB below full scale at the moment. So these orange uh, points are only showing me how much of a adjustment is done by the limiter. The attack can be adjusted from very, very um, slow attacks up to one millisecond. So it has a look ahead function and there's also a soft knee function, which means I won't hear so much of the limiter in this case. And there's also enhancement if I want, like tube or tape enhancement making the signal even fatter. As you can he see here on the master output, this is what lots of people want to have, especially in this kind of music, just full pumping master. You can drive it extremely hot, yeah? Now it's really pumpy sound, but this is what I might want to have. But I can also have completely different uh, style. There's lots of very uh, helpful presets from avoid these reconstruction errors only bit over fat and up to yeah, slammer like I adjusted here manually. So this is avoid reconstruction errors only, much lower level. Brick wall limiting. And a yeah, slammer setting. So it's really up and pumping. <laughs>